What up YouTube, Dean Sparks here. Sorry about the shitty quality, but um, I don't have any other cameras to my uh, availability right now. So here's the overview and quick look at the Cooler Master Elite 430 Black Edition case. It's one of my favorite cases. I've actually had this same exact case in my last build, but this one's um, going to be green instead of the all blue, which I'll show you guys in a second. That I have the, this is the fan that came with it, the uh, blue one, 120mm. Right now I got a stock Intel cooler. It's actually a pretty nice, decent cooler. But I broke the pegs off of it, but uh, I'm making it work for now. I got eight gigs of uh, G Skill Rip Jaws uh, X series. I got a GT. Um, I'm sorry, a G Force 210 a stock power supply. Cause my other one exploded and kind of died on me. And the uh, Azrock G41 MS3. I have an Intel Q6600 quad core on this board. This is the um, it's a uh, LGA 775 socket board, and here's the side panel with the green uh, PVA. I think I'm saying it right. PVA fans. This is the other fan, and it's going to be done up with more fans. I'm going to do liquid cooling. I got a power supply, a CX600 uh, Corsair. I'm going to be getting for it, as well as the uh, Cooler Master um, Sidon 120M. I do believe I said that right, Sidon. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get that liquid cooling system kit for the uh, CPU and for a GPU I'm going to most likely go with another uh, 550Ti since, uh, since that was a pretty good uh, graphics card I had last time so here's my little mod I did to the front of the case it probably comes out like shit but it looks so nice I have the uh, hyper green LED for the power indicator and I have the uh, stock blue one. I did have two green ones but they didn't exactly match too well because the uh, power one would take over and it would just you wouldn't be able to see the hard drive indicator but since the uh, blue one green really stands out I have the blue fan and here's the green one apparently these uh, the Pavia green fans are actually uh, ultraviolet too so they will glow under black light as it probably shows like that on the uh, camera Right now this is in pretty good daylight, but uh, yeah, it looks really nice, so I guess starting up, and yeah, let's see. nothing much else to see here, I guess. Wire management I did up pretty much as best as I could, for now at least. Like I said, it's only temporary, I'm getting the um, CX600, so it has all sleeved cables, looks nice black, so that shouldn't be that much of a problem. The other side, how I ran the, uh, the headers on the motherboard for the power indicators, switches, reset, all that good stuff. The only bad thing about this case, your uh, motherboard access apparently does not work for a 775 socket on a micro ATX. As you can see, I can only get to the first one and two screws, barely at that, but no big deal, it's a micro board. Not a whole lot of cables hooked up. Um, moving on to um, the second project. I have another Intel 775 board, and I have my old, uh, you obviously can't see that, this camera sucks dick, sorry, but, so I have a Pentium uh, dual core, uh, clocked at 1.8, I had it OC'd at 2.8 gigahertz on this board, and, uh, yeah, it has a PCIe X16 slot for a graphics card, it supports up to 4 gigs of DDR2, which is pretty decent, two SATA ports, I got some miscellaneous crap. I got one gig of data RAM in it. There's my uh, previous tower DVD drive. It's fucking so outdated. It's another thing I have to um, update on this one. Cause I have uh, IDE drives. Oh, oh boy, IDE. I hate the fucking ribbon cables. So yeah, that's basically uh, it for just now. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll keep you guys updated on the uh, next coming updates for this build pretty soon.